This is Read All About It by Laura Bush and Jenna Bush. I'm Tyrone Brown, and I rule the school. I'm a professional student and class clown. Let me introduce you to my pals. The kid geniuses in the classes is Edmund. Jane is the girl with legs like branches, and this is my best friend, Big D. We always keep our class in line. And that's Miss Libro, our homeroom teacher. She's all right but we don't exactly see eye to eye. I told her books are so last year. It's not that I despise books, I just don't prefer them. I like playing freeze tag with my friends and catch with my dad and helping my mom pull the pesky weeds from the front yard. These things are real. As I told you earlier, I have ruled a school. I love watching Mr. Lums, Lums quits scratch his head in awe when I solve the math problem of the day every day. Miss Toadskin thinks she can gross us out with her science experiments, but I live for that stuff. And of course, I'm the king of the monkey bars. I am everywhere. Well, everywhere except one place. Miss Libro says, Tyrone, the library is a wonderful place. You never know what you're going to meet in a good book. I say the library is a boring place. All I will meet there are stinky pages. Every day after lunch, Miss Libro reads to us. I sit in the back and use the whole time more wisely, but one day everything changed. Miss Libro was reading a book about an astronaut, which gave me the idea to create a spaceship that went orbiting into the chalkboard. Tyrone, please, save the spaceship for science class and listen. Everyone loves this book, said Miss Libro. I looked around the class. Miss Libro was right. No one, not even Jane, had witnessed the launch of the spacecraft Tyrone. So I listened, and the strangest thing happened. I actually liked the story, Alan. And then my whole world turned upside down. Halloween, Miss Libro is reading us a spooky tale about a ghost named Jasper. When Jasper, a real ghost, appeared and said, Boo, do you have a pencil sharpener? Characters started appealing regularly. During a story about founding our founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin stepped into our classroom, flying a kite. On Valentine's Day, Miss Libro read us a fairy tale. Just as the prince was about to save the princess, a fire-breathing dragon flew in the window. In the spring, Miss Libro began reading from a chapter book about a pig. She had barely finished the first page when a, when a puggy, puggy, puggy pig sat down next to me on the reading carpet. At first, we did not want him in our classroom. He was dirty and disorganized. He ate the grossest combination, grossest combination of leftover school lunches. But as the weeks went by, we fell in love with that butterball. He was witty and kind. Jane taught him manners, and he began to eat like a proper gentleman. And he took over my role as class clown. His jokes were hilarious. What does a family of pigs do at? an all-you-can-eat buffet, and then they pig out, and then a terrible thing happened, a real crime. It was a rainy Monday when Miss Libro finished the chapter book. As she closed the book for the final time, the pig disappeared and didn't come back. The whole class was hysteria. hysterics. We loved our little porker. When recess came, I knew what had to be done. Don't worry, this pig napping is just the case for Tyrone and his posse, I said. Big D, Edmund, Jane, let's go. We'll solve this case if it's the last thing we ever do. Jane thought he was in the cafeteria. Hurry, Miss Gravy will cook anything she can get her hands on. But luckily for the pig, we were having spaghetti for lunch. Edmund thought he had a lead. Those oinks coming from this tone deaf's room must be from our pig. 
But no, it was just a kindergarten class saying Old McDonald had a farm. We were about to give up hope when Big D had a breakthrough in the case. I got it. I bet Coach Smith has recruited him for the football team. He'd be he'd be great at defense. But again, there was no leads. Coach Smith said he hadn't seen a pig anywhere. Recess was over, and then there was still no sign of our pig. Miss Libro, we've searched for our pig everywhere, and we still haven't solved the case. Are you sure you looked everywhere? Everywhere. That was it. Of course, we hadn't been everywhere. There was one place we hadn't looked. I grabbed my friends, and we were off to save our pig. I boldly went where I'd never gone before. And there, they all were. Benjamin Franklin, Cas Jasper the Ghost, the Dragon, and in the middle of the room was our pig. And then, I had the most brilliant idea ever. Miss Libro, let's read in here. Let's read here, in the library. Take it from me, Tyrone. You never know who you're gonna meet when you look in a book. And that is Read All About It by Laura Bush and Jenna Bush.